Karina's suggestion with the bass gang, we don't talk about Bruno. Okay, it makes sense. That was apparently actually their last Disney song that they recorded together, I think. Now, I have seen the version from Voice Play, which is a very high standard to live up to, I think. I have seen the original <laughs> as well from the movie Al Canto. El Canto? En Canto? En Canto, yes, it is. I haven't seen the movie, but okay. The bass gang with We Don't Talk About Bruno, their a cappella cover. Excited. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Tommy P is looking, okay, pretty. It reminds me of Jeff when he had a section dressed like a girl in their video. So it's an old screen sound that we hear. Bobby. We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. We never talk about Bruno. We never talk about Bruno. We never talk about Bruno. That's different. We never talk about It was my wedding day. We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin. Are you telling the story or am I? Stumbling. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling I associate him with the sound of falling sand it's a heavenly Okay, so apparently this is not where they were together anymore Is this recorded before or after? It's released after their other uh, videos But it's way different than the one from voice play though With the sound of falling sand It's a heavenly with a gift so humbling Always at the will and the family fumbling Grappling with prophecies they couldn't understand Do you understand? When he calls your name Everything around you fades away Feast your dreams and feast on your dreams We don't talk about Bruno, no, no We don't talk about Bruno die the next day Dead. okay who's that i don't recognize her did they feature with her because she's not in the title here is she in the description here massive thanks to lauren paley big brevik and tim faust for appearing in the video okay so is this lauren we haven't seen tim faust yet so expecting to see him soon here i was wondering who did the beatboxing here so let's continue here I assume that was Lauren. He told me my fish would die the next day. Dead. <laughs> he told me I'd grow a gutton just like he said. He said it all my okay, so we see Tim Faust right here. And the one before was Big Brevik, I assume. It would disappear now. Look at my head. Oh, That's a funny edit. Told me that the life of my dreams would be promised and someday be mine. I think it's kind of disturbing, Tommy P. <laughs> this looks kind of disturbing to me. Of my dreams would be promised and someday be mine. He told me that the power would grow like the graves that thrive on the vine. Let's 
Okay, so it is totally different than what I would have expected. Uh, the one from Voice Play leans more towards the original. This was a bit all over the place, I think. Like, there are a lot of different voices, definitely in the last section, that went, that, that blend uh, through one another. But I don't know if it was just, like, the amount of volume on the different voices that confused me a little bit sometimes. I wasn't really sure we who was taking the lead at certain points in this. Let, let me know what you guys thought of this. There was a lot going on, and it is in the original as well, but I think it wasn't always clear to me who was taking the lead here. Uh, certainly at the last part there. Also, the moods were sometimes different, and I, I don't know if they changed some of the chords within the arrangement, but it, it, it felt different to me than the original and then what voice play has shown with them. Of course, it is a high expectation when you have first listened to, to voice play, uh, but it's totally different. It's totally different. So let me know, guys, what you thought of this. Yeah, that was different. Okay.